question says there are 10 members in a department and we have to form a team some conditions are given out of which first condition says either p or r or s must be there in a team second condition says either m or q must be there in a team okay third condition says if i choose k then i have to choose l and vice versa fourth condition is s u and w must be together fifth condition says if i choose l i cannot choose n and sixth says if i choose l i cannot choose u now the first question is what would be the size of largest possible team so look is first condition and second condition are primary conditions they must be followed so i have to choose either p r or s and either m or q so look according to fourth condition fourth condition if i choose s then u and w will go together but if i choose p i cannot choose u and w and same for r so instead of p and r i would prefer s so if i choose s then u and w will be there in a team now if i choose u i cannot choose l and if i have not chosen l then i can choose n so n can be there in a team now if i cannot choose l then i cannot choose k so this will be the maximum possible team so there are 1 2 3 4 and 5 members so there will be five members in a largest possible team now question says what would be the size of a team that includes k so we know if i am including k then i have to include l so l will be there now we know if i am including l i cannot include n and u so according to fourth condition we have to choose s u and w together and if i am not including u i cannot include s or w so i cannot include s or w now we know first and second are primary conditions they must be followed now i know i cannot choose l sorry s so i have to choose either p or r so first condition is satisfied now to satisfy second condition i have to choose either m or q so there will be 1 2 3 and 4 members now question 3 says in how many ways a team can be formed when n is selected so if n is selected i cannot select l and when i cannot select l i cannot select k now to form a team i have to satisfy the primary conditions means condition 1 and condition 2 so with n i can choose either p or r or s and with each p r and s i can choose either m or q here either m or q either m or q now with s u and w will go together so with p there will be two teams with r there will be two teams and with s there will be two teams so total number of teams formed will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 which means 6 now question 4 says who cannot be a member of a team of size 3 so look when we have to form a team then condition 1 and condition 2 must be satisfied so in a team either p or r or s must be there and one of m or q must be there so one from here and one from here at least two members will be there in a team now looking at the options from first option when i choose l 
from condition 3 I have to choose K so there will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 members at least so there will be at least 4 members so L cannot be a member of a team of size 3 ok now question says who can be a member of a team of size 5 as we have discussed in the first question the largest possible team contains 5 members and the team was S, U, W, N and Q or M so this is the largest possible team and from here you can see only M is there in the options so answer will be M